Kia ora guys, welcome to Bridge Path, Sunny Hawks Bay. My name is Daniel Dendera Theory and I'm a coach developer for Touch New Zealand. Today, me and my family will be showing you guys some fun games and activities that you can try at home in your very own backyard. In today's home advantage session is all about reaction woo, and evasion. Whoa! Come join me for a fun lesson. Let's get started with the warm up. Before we start any type of physical activity, it's always important to do a really good warm up. Today, me and the kids will be showing you guys a shortened, modified version of the Touch Fit 360 warm up. I'll get the kids to do a demonstration of three simple running movements for you to perform. Perform each of these exercises twice. A really good warm up is effective for increasing the heart rate, circulation, and blood flow to the muscles. Let's go watch the kids. Do the demonstration, hit pause, and give that a go. Get the demonstrate forward running. Forward and backward running. Forward two cones, back one cone. Diagonal running. Taking a bit of a high five. Awesome work, guys. Hey, welcome back. How was that warm up? Good. What are you all prepared for today's lesson? Awesome. Let's get into the learning then. And today's lesson is all about listening and reaction. All you'll need is four cones. If you don't have four cones, find four household items that you can use safely for this activity. I'll get the kids to do a demonstration video of some fun games, activities and challenges with progressive levels in it. Watch the videos, then grab a friend and challenge them to a game. First to three wins. Watch the video, then hit pause and give that a go. Get this to listen and to react and pick up the correct colour cone. Are you ready? Yep. Orange. Well done, Nadia. One point for you because you got the correct colour. Blue. And yellow. Wow, what, did, what do you reckon, Tainui? Cool. Awesome. Challenge your partner to a game. First to three wins. Here's a really simple progression. Try this activity now, standing up but using your feet. Give that a go. Yellow, blue, orange, green. Get into a squat please. Hands are on hips, shoulders, knees, elbows, chin, blue cone. Oh, ho, ho! had to use your hand. Progression number three. Fast feet, orange, blue, yellow, green. <laughs> oh, there's some improvement needed. Hip pause and give that a go. Head, elbows, shoulders, hip, yellow cone. <laughs> shoulders, elbows, hip, green cone. Wow. Hip pause and give that a go. How was that? Heaps of fun? Yeah, I thought so. I always have a lot of fun playing those games with the kids. Here's another great little activity to improve now your vision and your reactions because all you'll need is two cones and a ball. Place the cones roughly about a metre apart, standing on one cone, ball out in front of you in your hand. My job is to let go of the ball, let it bounce and hit the ground. Your job is to see, react, run, and grab the ball before it hits the ground. If you can do that, take a step back and repeat. See how far you can go back before the ball hits the ground. Do this activity at least once a day to improve your vision and reaction. We'll go watch the kids have a demonstration, watch the video, 
the pros and give that a go. So in this activity now we're going to be focusing on your evasion skills. If you don't know what evasion means, it's just another flash name for sidestepping, dodging or weaving. In this activity I'm going to break it down into two parts. In the very first part here, we're just going to focus on performing a sidestep. All you need to perform this activity is two cones. Ta-da! Place the cones five metres apart from each other. Starting on the first cone, I want you to move up as you approach the second cone, step off your left foot. Go back and repeat that five times. Once you've done that, do it again, run up to the cone, now step off your right foot. Do that five times. Do this activity at least once a day just to get you used to performing a side step and comfortable. I'll show Tainui doing a bit of a demonstration of his left and right foot. The new hip pause. Set up your pains and give that a go. How'd you go? Are you able to perform a side step with both your left and your right foot? Hey, awesome to hear. Here's a real cool progression now. Let's add a defender in on that cone that's standing in front of you. Their job is to use their arms and signal right or left. Your job now is to see, react and go in the opposite direction which they're signalling and score a try. This is really great now to improve both the evasion and the reaction. What's the kids demonstration? Challenge your friend to a game, first to three, hip pause and give that a go. Here's a real simple progression. Let's have some cones in and throw it at them. See if they can dodge those. How many times you can get through without getting hit by the cone? Hit balls and give that a go. Hey guys, welcome back. Cool, so here's a great way to end our lesson and put into place all those skills that you've learned right here today. In today's final game, we're going to show you the Kiwi Classic ball tag, that's right. The object of the game is to avoid being tagged by the ball carrier by using the good reaction and invasion skills that you've learned. Uh, set up the game, all you need is four cones or four household items or whatever. You set up an inner size area or place. For us, um, rules are, ball carrier has two, uh, carries a ball in two hands, tags here, once he's made the tag, he puts the ball on the ground, you pick up the ball and you become the tagger. So grab your family and friends and have a go. Here's a pro tip though, remember this key point. Have fun and go hard. And the kids are going to go for a now. See you soon. Well that's a wrap fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's home advantage session. Nadia Tonui, did you guys enjoy today? Yep. Hey, thank you very much for your update and your focus on how to meet the love of this co-papa. Hey guys, I want to pass out some good vibes to you all and invite you guys to have a look at our Touch New Zealand 
Facebook page where you can find details about our nationwide 5 million pass challenge. Hey guys, barring that, so I'd love to see um, everyone on a touch field soon. Last but not least, all the best for the rest of the year. Touch! What a game!